All right, hello children, it's Pastor Matt here for our Children's Praise video this week. I want to show you two Bible verses. Lately we've been doing two Bible verses together uh, to show you an illustration about the gospel and what it means to actually have our sins forgiven. So here's one verse that I want to start off with Psalm 22. Uh, you will look at both of these verses again with your teacher today. But Psalm 22 uh, says a lot about uh, good wisdom. There's one verse that starts off at the beginning, Psalm 22, 1, says, <clears throat> A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver and gold. So I want to look at that proverb with you, and then we'll look at a story in which Jesus actually uh, interacted with somebody who did not have a good name. So when the Bible talks about having a good name, it's talking about having a really good uh, reputation so that people actually have a good opinion of you. And um, we all make opinions of ourselves and we make opinions of each other uh, based on the kind of things that we do and the things that we say. So if people do bad things and say bad things, they start to develop a reputation for doing those kind of things. So um, I'd like you to think about yourself if you've ever told a lie to your mom or dad, that if you tell lies a lot, then what happens is your mom or your dad won't trust you as much. Uh, if you say, oh, I did, I was upstairs and I cleaned my bedroom, and you actually didn't clean your bedroom, that's going to make your parents angry and they might be sad with you. And also, they're not going to trust you. Uh, that means that your reputation, your name, the way they view you will change. And here's the thing. We do this all the time in our lives. Like the, when you get older and grow up, you actually end up, creating bad habits and doing bad things. And doing those bad things uh, makes people develop opinions of you. And when someone has an opinion about you, it's really hard to get rid of, right? So uh, let's look at this other verse, and we'll make it all make sense here with Jesus uh, talking to a leper. The leper, we need to describe what that is. A leper is someone who has a skin disease, someone whose skin looks dirty and broken and discolored. And so if someone was a leper, you could see them from a very far way away. They would look different. You would tell on their skin that they were contagious and you shouldn't touch them. So here is the story of the leper. Um, in Matthew 8, it says, Jesus came um, down from the mountain and great crowds began to follow him. And a leper came to him and knelt before him saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy uh, was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself uh, to Moses, as the commandments say. So there's a lot going on there. I want to look at one thing. I'm going to summarize it for you now, and I want you to understand what just happened. It's very important for you and for me. The leprosy was there on this man's skin, and he's dirty and not able to touch anything, and no one's able to touch him. And Jesus said, uh, well, the man came to Jesus and said, Lord, if you're willing, you can cleanse me. You can take this leprosy away, okay? So here's the lesson I want to show you. You'll see uh, on the table here the uh, uh, water that's clean, right? So this is like you and me if we have a good reputation, and we've never done anything bad or anything sinful, never lied, never uh, hurt anybody, never said anything really cruel or mean. This could be our life if we're perfectly clean, right? But what happens is when you go through this life, just even a little bit, look, there's not much on here. This is, uh, we'll say this is a chocolate powder, right? So uh, if you put this down in there and you stir it around, I can see, you might not be able to see, but I can see the water's a little bit different color already, right? And so if you take a little bit more, there's just a little bit in there, and you stir it around, now it's starting to look a little bit different, right? And uh, you can see already, it's not even in the light right here. Look how much different color it is. It's not as clear as it used to be, okay? Now really, let's be honest, like your sin and my sin over the course of our whole life is like this. It's just a lot of dirt. And it makes our life, our name, our reputation, unclean. We're not clean anymore, right? Do you see what's happening to the water? Can you see that in the image? I want you to know, here's the question. 
can you see through this at all? I mean, you used to be able to see through that water, right? But I can't see anything through it now. Look how dirty it is, right? This is an image of you and me with our sin. This is what we look like. And here's the thing about our sin. We can't get rid of it. Once it's in there, it's in there. We have to throw this water away. There's no way, like, I can't go in here. See, it diffused through all the water. So if I go in here and try to scoop off the top and try to put it back, I can get something. But guess what? The water is always going to be that color now. It can't be changed, right? At least we can't change it, right? So that leper said, if you're willing, you can make me clean. The only way that happens is we have to go to Jesus like the man did. And say, Jesus, if you're willing, you can cleanse me from all my sin. And you say, Lord, I don't want to have sin in my life. I don't want to lie. And I don't want to get in trouble. And I don't want to do other mean things to other kids or say bad words with my mouth. I don't want to do that. I want to be clean, but I'm dirty. So you say, Lord, please make me clean. And what happens is, just what he did to that leper, he does this to us immediately. right? This is what Jesus can do. He can create new water. He can make you clean again. So look at this before Jesus, and if you just say, Lord, please forgive me my sin, he makes you clean. That's the story of the leper. So I want you to understand that story. Take some questions and answers with it as you're there with your teachers. And I want you to remember one more time. I'm going to hold this up. Remember this image. This is your sin, and this is what Jesus can do if you go to him. Don't forget this image, okay? So I'll see you again next week.